ya la roko shia maloko ya makushi kabaroko se maroko shi makoro bo shahanda baroko shia baha maloko robo shi kabaha yande ke bo shi you see that how you have a smaller cup there's a timing for everything just be now Robo shiama ko robo she kaba ya nere wo ko she ko. Swande ki ba ko robo she kaba ra wo sun ta ya re ke wo she. Na ya nere ki ba ro ko she kaba ha. Ro ko sha ba ra ba 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 ku ti. You stay here. Come, bring here. Where's the direct chair table? Oh, uh, come back. We don't need a red table. Pastor Kobe is here. Come. Come on, help me. Please come, my dad. Thank you. You know, when mommy was singing, what does it mean? Emma is was we we should come. We are calling you. That song is saying, as we mention your name, we are calling you. <laughs> Do you know that the Lord said to me this morning? Do you know that the Red Sea that I parted into two, that all of you are shouting it was a big miracle. It's just like this cup to him. Just like this cup for Jehovah, the Red Sea that they opened and you were screaming. He said it's just like this cup. For me to deal with your problem is just like this. If Jehovah has ever showed up, your problem will know someone has come. But because you don't know, you have never seen him show up. That problem will melt if it comes really. Jehovah comes, if the rest he could open, what is that problem before you? So when we are calling on him, we are calling you, call him with understanding. Because if he shows up, that problem is finished. Amen. If only maybe the things you have been seeing is not him. Oh. You've been seeing something that looks like him. That's why you think he's not powerful. But when he comes, <laughs> when my Lord shows up, even the trouble will know somebody has come. So let's go back. Let the choir go back and sing now with understanding. Because some of us want the Lord to come to us. shows up that baby I've been crying for will show up when he shows up that debt is cancelled but I don't know what's been showing up for you that you think is Jehovah maybe it's not Jehovah Yeah, 
the sign that God has showed up is when he shows up, all enemies cut and not some. All. <laughs> uh, when he shows up, the barren room becomes fruitful. There is no drink concussion. Oh. Eh? There is no ever living for ever living product. Oh. <laughs> uh, when he shows up, healing shows up. So maybe what you are seeing is man thinking. But when Jehovah shows up, nothing is left undone. <laughs> he gave the entire nation and gave it to Abraham. Take it. <laughs> A nation that was not his. To Joshua, whatever your next step, I, Jehovah, will give it to you. No payment, no nothing. Just be good courage. Now this next one we will sing again for those that understand who their God is. Because my God is showing up very quickly. <laughs> the God that I serve. The God that I serve. As long as there is air, he is there. I'll join you guys now. Listen. Listen. Enoch Yami. Enoch Yami. Enoch Yami. When I heard Enoch, I thought it was Enoch in the Bible, but it was Enoch at the way. The God that handed over a church to him and took it beyond measure. Enoch, Nami, Enoch, Nami, Enoch, Nami, That made the Muslim afar give him hectares of land and said, Choose wherever you want to build your church. A Muslim afar giving him hectares, not acres, hectares of land and said, Choose what you want to do with it. That is the God of Pastor E. Adebe. That girl, one of Nigeria's most dangerous presidents, wanted to destroy <laughs> Pastor Enoch Adeboe. And it was supposed to happen on the weekend, and that Friday, that Jew said, Happy New Year to Nigeria. As he said, Happy New Year, the man was dead. Hey! <laughs> I'm talking about 
but a God that the whole nation cannot quench. They try to, to destroy the camp, but they cannot of the camp. They try to close and redeem, they cannot close and redeem. Hey, sir. In God be for us. In God be for us. talking about a God that the, the man is sitting in the camp and the churches are expanding by the minute. Ministers are working on their own. Building on their own. And the man is just standing by the camp. <laughs> a God that works. A God that is alive. Oh, oh, this world. Hey! 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 Uh, a God, the God of Enoch is a God that does what he wants to do. <laughs> he told them that God has not told him who he will hand over to. They can be all the big men. God has not told him. <laughs> a God that speaks and has his way. It's not a God of eye service. Lift your voice and sing. <laughs> of wisdom just listen to a man's preach and you hear <laughs> a God that answers the difficult question that any journalist can ask a God that knows what to do at the right time and when to do it that's the God of Enoch lift your voice the God of Enoch is the God of long life. Enoch walked with God, and Bible says that he was not because God took him home. Hey. Lift your voice. The God of Enoch is a God of power. Many years ago, I went to the camp. I was trying to get to the altar from the back. I could not move again. <laughs> the power there was unbelievable. A God of power. A God of presence. <laughs> lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. You see, 
this girl of honor, Enoch, we do stupid things. You need to sit at the jail. I try to wear a bada like seven and pull it one by one. Carry stick like a small boy. Please don't mind us. <laughs> That's our God. The God of Enoch is a God of holiness. A God of truth. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. <laughs>
glory to Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we love you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Makoro kosika bara bose. Shekima koro kosika bara baba. Lekima koro kosike boro kose. Makoro koro bobo bobo bobo. Shekema koro kosike bara baba baba. Roko sike boro kosike baha. Roko sike boro kosike bara baba. Leke boro kosike boro kosika baha. Maroko bobo 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 bobo. Sike boro kose. La corre de Sika Barra Baba Baba. Le cabre corre de Sabara Baba Baba Baba. Se cabre corre de Baba Baba. Lord, we thank you. Something has happened here today. We thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The God of Pastor E. E. Adeboye, we thank you. The God of the redeemed Christian Church of God, we thank you. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you. The God of Elisha. Elijah, Moses, Joshua, God, Marusha, Bakali, Bakuru, Bushaya, Haya, Ndeki, Boko, Rokushi, God of Silas, Keboko, Rokushi, Kabaha, Shika, Boko, Rokushi, Kabara, Baba, the God of the Tabernacle of David, the God of the Universe. Take your praise tonight. Take all your glory tonight. Take all your worship. Thank you for coming tonight and into this ministry in a different form today. Thank you and we bless you. In Jesus name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let us be seated and let's clap for the Holy Spirit my pastor my teacher wonderful 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 ah wonderful job chapter 1 verse 1 Every day, the 
worship you, Lord. Oh, holy, 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 are you? Holy, 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 are you, Lord? Holy, holy, are you, Lord? The earth and angels bow, glory be. They worship you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You know, God has told us um, He wants to implement the things He has promised us in this year. That's a lot of responsibility on our side. And he showed me some things this morning. In Job chapter 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz. Now that is... Um, the beginning of a story there was a man that means there were many other men in that same land there was a man different from every other man not just in a house but in a whole land and that man was noticed. <laughs> you know how many men was in that land? But there was a man. Whose name was that means that he was so noticed to the fact extent that they got his name and they went further to explain why that man was that a man and that man just in case we want to mix maybe for you to know exactly what the teller was saying see? and that man not other men or that one there was a man and that one i'm talking about not other ones so the one that is in that place was perfect the Bible is written by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They don't joke with the words. If the man was perfect, then he was perfect. <laughs> and upright. That means what you see is what you get. one that feared God and the and days how many one two three four so that is the story or what somebody said about Job not that he only feared God he did not like to do any evil to be done around him. Now, in this season, God is about to do what he will do. Now, can you 
be spotted by men can they spot you out to be different <laughs> in the tabernacle of David can somebody come and spot you out and that's for this one it's different Do you know that blessings and the Lord and kings are looking for consistent people? Consistent people. People that don't change. Upright yesterday. Upright today. Upright five years ago. Even if it's yesterday they started uprightness. Upright in the morning up right till today first Samuel 16 from verse first Samuel 16 from verse 15 Now Saul had a problem. Saul had a problem. An evil spirit was tormenting him. So the, the servant was trying to get him help. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Next verse, please. Let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek a man who is cunning in play, cunning, a cunning player on a harp. And it shall come to pass that when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Next verse, please. And Saul said unto his servant, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Next verse, please. Then answered one of the servants, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse. I have seen. The same way they spotted out Job, the same way they spotted out David. I have seen out of these sons of Jesse he had big boys the Bethlehemite that is cunning in plain a mighty and I see the and again and a mighty valiant man and a man of war and prudent in matters and a comely blessing and the Lord is with him you think they will carry blessing and give to a novice the Almighty. You think they've not been watching me since 2009 I came here? You think they've not watched my dressing? This is how I dressed in 2009. This is how I dressed as a car businessman. This is how I dressed as an MD. This is how I dressed as a salesman. In 1999, I was dressing this way. I have not changed. As a manager, I dress like this. As an MD, I dress like this. As a missionary, I dress like this. Today, I'm still dressed like Jehovah is watching. Consistency. Can you keep up the good thing you do for long? I have seen David was consistent in his playing, consistent in matters, consistent in war, battles. He was consistent. Let's go back to Job chapter 1. We want blessings. You want it to fall on your lap and you do what with it. This is how I preach. In 2009, I preach as same way. Three members, I preach the same way. 2010, same way. 2011, same way. 2015, same way. It has not changed. Same passion. Same zeal. Same attendance to service. That's not change. <laughs> and you think the Lord is not watching?
Now, I saw something about Job that in verse 5 of Job 1. Who is learning something this evening? I'm learning something. <laughs> you think they'll carry three million dollars and put on your lap? Where is the character? Where is the character? You think even God will allow it to happen? to kill you. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about, and Job sent and sacrificed, sanctified them. And that is his children. They did some feasting. And rose up in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. You see, Job was not only responsible for his life, he was responsible for his family. To the fact that Job's family, his sons, going by what we have just read, his sons were upright outside, but he was saying, in case they have hurt God in their heart, let me also plead for them in their heart. He went beyond physical. He said, just in case my children have offended God in their heart. Before men, they look upright, but I know in their heart, I also beg Lord for them in their heart. That was how thorough Job was with God. And you wonder why God put a hedge in his business, a hedge in his family, a hedge in all he had. There was something about Job. The Bible says that he knew how many cattle he had, how many sheep he had, how many oxen he had. Job knew the number of everything he had. That is accountability and that is effectiveness and that is excellence. David went after the, the bear because he took one sheep. <laughs> went after the lion. <laughs> Are you seeing the similarity in character? If I were to give you an open door, who do you think I would look for? <laughs> I would look for somebody that will not put me to shame. I would look for somebody who is consistent, who is upright, who is faithful. How much more God? Daniel was a man of excellence. And the Holy Ghost had not yet come in that measure on Job. And he was like this. What is our excuse? We have the helper. It's called the Holy Spirit. What is our excuse? Whatever God talks to you about, He's trying to correct. If you are sincere in your heart, you can change tonight and start a journey with God. See, uprightness means what I do in my body is what I do in my heart. If you come tomorrow, I'll do the same thing. Come next year, I'll do the same thing. Now, do you know that David was taken right from the bush straight to the palace? You'll be here one day. You'll come and carry Pastor David in me. I said, Ah, how did you get there? This small boy, uh, you stay there. <laughs> ah, how can? Uh, remain there. I ask question. God has seen it. One day, somebody will come and 
You know, I said, one day you'll be manchin, one day. Say amen, take her. Who would not be go, go there? You will not do all those libations. You will give them coke. Give them coke. Ah, it's possible. If they want you, they will do anything for you. Uh, coke, okay, we'll have coke. Okay, okay. My error, no snap, or error, no snap. Just sit there for us. We need you. God is opening great doors for people and is teaching you to be ready at this time. You'll be afraid of the door when it opens. The sad thing about God's own when it comes to man's point of view is that he sees beyond you. He looks straight at your heart so he can deceive you. Great promotions are coming in this season. We must be ready. Now look at them and say, we must be ready. We. Tell them, we must be ready. Look at them and say, we must be ready. Because the kingdom is going to expand. We will take territories for Jesus Christ. They will say, ah, there is a man in, in the telecoms communication. His name is Victor. Uh, Victor, he's, he's not, he's, he can't believe his ears. Who can take it? Who can take it? Uh -huh. There's a man in the whole of Accra. His name is this. Put your name there. <laughs> May we become problem solvers in our locations. Do you know what it means to be a problem solver for God? <laughs> God knows you won't change your mind at any point. That nothing will change your mind from serving him. Do you know what it means? Don't joke with such a person. Someone will not say A and tomorrow is B. Next year I'm going here. I've changed my mind. Eh? <laughs> do you know what it means to be a problem solver for the king of kings upright in character he can vows that you won't change your mind no matter what hits you you are precious in his eyes so also you can be in that business in that company and stand for him and do what he wants you to do God is about to do great things. He needs us to be excellent. We have to show him we are ready. It's time to study. It's time to do what you have to do. It's time to pray. It's time to check how you, how you behave and how you dress. No matter how many clothes you have. It's time to take him seriously. It's time to speak right. Time to read the word of God. It's time for transparency. It's time for honesty. It's time for uprightness. Because there's no room for mistake in this journey. When we grab it, we'll grab it. <laughs> 
uh, I've done one mistake in my life before in business and I lost a lot. One, one move of shadiness cost me millions. I mean millions. My partner just took his wealth and shifted it to somebody I introduced to him and changed his life. You can't afford it. Till today, that man is still enjoying that introduction I did. Because I had so many, I had to introduce him to somebody that also assist me. You can't afford to blow it. That is why all this thing you are going through, God is tra training you and taking you through it so that when it comes, you are ready. I know I'm speaking to only three people tonight. Who are those three people? <laughs> uh, some of you, when they will take you in promotion, you'll be, you'll be afraid afraid but do not be afraid the Holy Ghost is with you <laughs> where they are about to put you in fear and where God is about to send me say I, I know him more I say yes I know him too. you'll be afraid I just want to thank thank you Lord I just now ask yourself this question are you ready for what is coming Just ask yourself for the next one minute sincerely are you ready for what is coming if it comes now what do you do if that breakthrough comes now what do you do if you are not ready, it's time to beg the Holy Spirit for direction. Go ahead and just talk to the Holy Ghost. If you are not ready, it's time. Because what is coming, it will take uprightness and holiness to keep it. You didn't bring it, so you can use your, your brain to keep it. You need God that brought it to keep it. And His ways is holy. Thank you. <laughs> My Lord, I just want to thank You think you remain like this forever? No. <laughs> Some of you are about to promote you with vehicles. In your office place. Are you ready? Can you be that man that they talk about in your business and your workplace? There's a man in this company. His name is so so and so. He's an upright man. Even the MD knows him to be upright. Can you be that man? Can you be that woman? It is possible. You have the Holy Spirit to help you. We just want to thank, thank you. Now, can you just look up a bit? Do you know that the Holy Spirit takes me through school every day? He takes me through school every day. In a day, he takes me through the scriptures in different ways. And I keep going, and I keep learning, and I keep following him, I keep writing. 
What's the things you I hope my mind to say? I already written somewhere, somewhere. I can't even remember, but it keep coming because it has been there. It's time to kick away laziness and embrace hard work. Responsibility. Those that have to go to school, go to school. Go to school. Oh, you want to do the gospel? Yes, it's good to do the gospel. I'll tell you what the Holy Ghost told me. I was afraid. I'll tell you. He says, or he said, you can be a vessel and serve God. But like Paul, you can also be an educated vessel, humble and serve God. <laughs> So don't think because the disciples didn't go to school, you have a chance you will not go. You can still be humble and still be a graduate and still serve God. I left school about 16 years ago, university. I don't look like it, but I'm still serving God. I don't think I need it. Or he needs something from it. Whatever you want to do, do it with all your hearts and your mind for the Lord. Tonight, we said we should examine ourselves and ask ourselves if we are ready for what is coming. But the important question is, are you also ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you also ready for the coming of the Lord? That day will be a great and terrible day. It will not be easy. Paul said, let a man examine himself. If you are here tonight, you don't know Jesus Christ. I tell you, it is the greatest mistake any man can do not to know Jesus Christ. He is the way. He is the truth. He is alive. No man can come to the Father without him. If you are here tonight and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, Job said, just in case my children have sinned in their heart, many of us have given our lives to Jesus with our mouth, but our hearts have not gone with it. I want those that will say, today my heart is going with it. If you are here tonight, you want to say to Jesus, I am sorry. Forgive me. Just say after me, those. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. I believe you are the Son of God. And I believe you died because of me. Tonight, please have mercy upon me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Write my name in the book of life. Lord, when you come in your glory, please remember me in your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I have the communion, please? If God has spoken to you tonight, I just want you to go ahead and just say thank you. Thank you for what you have told me tonight because you love me.
You are worthy of all of our praise. Jehovah, the Creator, behold you, neighbors. You are worthy of all. Jehovah, the Creator, behold you, neighbors. You are worthy of all. Hmm. El Shaddai, the Creator, behold you, neighbors. Now who will begin to make adjustment in his life from tonight? Deliberately you choose to make it. When others are sleeping, you wake up and move. When others are being lazy, you wake up and move. Make a choice for yourself. Read your Bible. Read the area that you are studying. The area at which you are working. Be the best in it. Solve problems for your company. When others are sleeping, you are working and you are reading. Above all, have a great relationship with Jesus Christ. Above all. We'll see you at the top. Uh, you, didn't have, you didn't come with your ears tonight. We'll see you at the top. <laughs> you know, that, that, that place is for a few people. Oh. We don't, crowd doesn't go there. Go and check where the top is. We'll hire a good now where it is. We'll see you at the top. But I will thank you for the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. For the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for this grace to partake.